through the eyes of a traveler. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, world. So, what's the plan of action today? Well, I'm still on the Karakoram Highway. Um, I've just visited Ferry Meadows, had a wonderful night there, and the journey there and the journey back was quite extraordinary, for want of a better description. And now I'm heading to a town called Gilgit. Now, there's nothing to see for me in Gilgit except for a little place called Garga. Karga, or in the local language, which is Shina, it's called Yasni or Yashni. Now, this is an archaeological site located about six miles or ten kilometers from Gilgit. You have to pass through Gilgit and lots of little, little villages to get there. It's a 50 foot um, carving of Buddha on a rock face and it dates back to the 7th century so it's not anything new it's actually been there probably longer than most of Pakistan and India this I wanted to see because it used to be a promotion that Pakistan would put on its national airline as a place of outstanding interest and I never ever got to see it. So I'm gonna write that wrong, and we're heading in that direction. So I'll catch up with you in a little while, but in the meantime, do please enjoy the ride. I have to confess that riding on the Karakoram Highway gives me great pleasure. One, you've got this vastness, this barren vastness all around you. Number two, you have this backdrop of the second highest mountain range in the world. Number three, the traffic. There is none, or very little, shall we say. Hello, bus. Goodbye, bus. And then you have an open road again. It's just absolutely fantastic. But the most important part of this journey, I must confess, is that solitude sometimes allows you to think clearly. When you're away from the crowd and it's just you and your thoughts, wow. At this point, at this juncture, those thoughts can take you places you can't even imagine. This is Karga.
Right, folks, it's time to hit the Karakoram Highway again. Onwards and upwards to the next destination, which I will share in the next video. But for now, what I want to say is thank you for watching and offering me time, and thank you for your patience. I pray and hope that all are happy in this difficult time. And for those that are on two wheels, please ride safely. Take care everyone, God bless you all.